What's up YouTube? This is Brian Pfeiffer, MarketingMeatHead.com. Today I'm going to talk about the Facebook Instant Experience. All right, welcome back. So if you haven't heard of the Facebook Instant Experience, this is kind of a fairly new thing. Uh, basically, it's so that you can kind of build like a basically like a landing page, if you will, uh, in Facebook, and it instantly loads as soon as somebody clicks on the ad. Uh, it's right there, like it's instant because it's already in Facebook's, uh, you know, what do you call it, like their server or whatever, and it's cached, so it's like instant, um, you know, instant load time on mobile phones, okay? So it's pretty useful uh, when it comes to, um, you know, getting like high conversions. If uh, you want to get people like to go from Facebook to a landing page, well, that's going to decrease your conversions, okay, because people are jumping off Facebook. This is going to give them their, your landing page basically right on Facebook. Okay, so uh, let's go in real quick so you guys understand what this is exactly. Uh, real quick, I just want to show you guys where you actually build this. Uh, if you go into Marketing Meathead here, and Marketing Meathead, and uh, this is one of my pages here, and you click on the actual page, and you go here to Publishing Tools. So click on Publishing Tools, and then just go down here to Instant Experience for the canvases, okay? And this is your lead ad forms. Uh, this is where you'd... Um, want to put your, um, uh, you can actually link up your like Infusionsoft through Zapier and whatnot and different uh, autoresponders in here as well. Um, so, but the instant experience is right here. You click on it, you can see I have uh, one that is uh, being built. It's a little bit slow here. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of, kind of bugging on me today a little bit here. Oh, uh, there it is. So there's uh, one that I created, okay. And it's just in a draft still. I haven't finalized it. Uh, I'll show you guys how to build it here in a second. Let's just go in uh, to the actual Facebook instant experience so you can uh, understand exactly what it is. Um, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to this channel and bang the notifications bell. And if you find it useful, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you like about it. And uh, also share it with your friends if uh, you haven't, um, if you find you think they could find this content valuable so, it, as well. All right, so the instant experience is basically like a full screen experience here. See how it, like it fills up the whole screen, and uh, it's for mobile. Uh, it grabs attention, you know, with high quality like images and whatnot. Uh, you can tell us kind of a story about your brand, and um, you can embed like a Facebook pixel or a third party pixel, like if you have Google Analytics of some sort uh, or Pinterest. Even you can embed that. Um, once you create an into in instant experience, anyone can open it. Uh, within the experience, people can watch videos, swipe through the photos, a carousel, uh, fill out forms, explore images, tag products, and I'll show you guys how to set up all this in a second. And um, you can also link out to other instant experiences, so you can have more than one here in kind of your uh, um, your, your uh, ecosystem, okay? And if you go here, I'll put a link to this here. This is the Facebook uh, um, blog and uh, uh, some of the other things about the uh, instant experience I just wanted to cover real quick. Um, you know, you can have like a storefront if you have an e-commerce store and you have an, a catalog uploaded. You can have like a storefront in the instant experience, which is pretty cool. It loads like instantly. Um, you can, you know, basically let people explore your products uh, by featuring them in lifestyle type images. Uh, and product tagging, which is really cool for, um, you want to definitely, if you're selling e-commerce stuff, you want to show that whole lifestyle uh, images, okay? Because that's very important these days in terms of sales rather than just showing the product itself, okay? Um, you can basically encourage the customer to, you know, you know discover your brand and products and whatnot. You can kind of tell a story uh, about your brand. So it's pretty cool here. Um, the metrics here are pretty simple. Uh, they're just standard. You go into, um, I've done a video on this. I'll try to link it to the top here on how to set up your dashboard. And you can basically see like the outbound clicks. You can see how long people stayed on the uh, view time and all that stuff. So you get an idea if your, your content is working, okay? And then there's more stuff here, how to create uh, your page, and I'm gonna walk you guys through that, uh, manage it and all that stuff. Just a good read, I'm not gonna go through and read every single thing here uh, for this instant experience. I'll, I'll link this below if you guys wanna go ahead and read this, I don't wanna make this video too long. But I will go in and show you guys here how to uh, build this. And um, so what you wanna do here after you build one, you can't really uh, edit it, okay? Like if you click on it here, um, you can duplicate it or delete it. You can't edit it. So what you want to do is um, you want to go ahead and just duplicate it if you want to edit it, and then you can just delete this one and, and make make it make the new one the edited one. Okay. So let's go ahead and duplicate this, and then it's going to show like a copy here, and uh, you'll see it's going to pull up. 
it's a, like I said, it's a little bit laggy here. Not really sure why. It's just taking like forever to like load here. It's on that's on Facebook sense. Okay, so there's my copy, and uh, we're gonna do a view here, and this is where we can actually edit this. So we're gonna go in and um, this is gonna be uh, and then book number two. Okay, and so it's pretty simple here. This is like kind of like your standard uh, landing page builder. If you go down here to add component, you'll see you can add like a text block, you can add a video. Now you can have multiple videos on your instant experience. Uh, just keep in mind that these videos are going to auto play. So you wouldn't want to have a video right below um, the other video because what would happen is if you're scrolling along, one video is going to start to play. And as soon as you get like part way past that video, the other video is going to start to play. So you want to space the videos out on the page so that both videos uh, will play at separate times basically if someone's scrolling. Okay. Uh, store locator. Uh, you want to put a photo, you can put a carousel, you can put a button. I uh, like to, um, you know, if you want to put a button here, let's let's add a button here. See what that looks like. That's good. You just click on it and then you click OK. And uh, basically your button's going to be uh, like this. Um, it would be like, give it the guide. No. Okay, and then you can obviously, you want, you'd want to put your, uh, your uh, website here, the destination, and you can change the uh, button color. Uh, probably do something like a little yellowy like that match the. You can always go in here. By the way, um, I'm not in Chrome, but if you were in a Google, uh, use a Chrome extension, Google Color Picker, and you take that, and you can just get this exact color, and you can make that button the exact color. That's what I normally would do here, but for the purpose of this video, we'll just uh, put it like that. So that's just the, that's actually the outline. So we'll probably make that actually black and let's make the button color like this. There we go. No, that's actually the um, outline. This is what we want to fill. Okay, so button color would be like that and background color probably just um, white is probably good. You can play around with it. Obviously you can see there's a lot of different things you can do. You'd want to make the colors similar to like the actual product here, so it looks, you know, obviously a little bit closer to what we're trying to accomplish here. There's the purple. It's not really purple, but there you go, something like that. That doesn't look too good, but you know, I obviously would use a color picker to get the exact colors here to match that. And um, basically, this is um, you can fix the button too. So when you scroll down, like the button stays on the bottom. Okay. And uh, obviously, you know, there's your, your, you can move these around too. So say you wanted to have your, your button, it's going to stay on the bottom. But like, if you wanted to have your, your photo above your text, you can actually move this around. You just click on this little thing here, move it around. Um, you know, you can put different uh, uh, websites here, whatever you want them to go to. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in the button here. And obviously, I'm going to play around with the uh, colors later. I'm going to do an edit paste. Sometimes this is being goofy. All right, so um, yeah, and then you just you can you know change the text. Obviously, I have some text here. I have like a header image, and you can you can move all this stuff. The header stays, but the text and the videos, and you can add a video. So you say I wanted to put a video above this, and uh, you can just basically this is like a uh, kind of like a mini click funnels here, and it's just for mobile. One thing you got to make a note of here: you can't use uh, emojis. If you use emojis, they don't show up right. They show up as like a question mark. Uh, it's not recognizing emo emojis at this time for whatever reason. And you can see what it's going to look like on Instagram and uh, Facebook. And uh, it's pretty cool. Like it's, it's basically like you're building a landing page and using Facebook's um, you know, servers to load the landing page. So it's going to be like ultra fast. So there's no delay. Uh, a lot of people on mobile, you know, they might be on Wi-Fi or, or a 3G network or a 4G network. It's going to be a little bit of a lag there. This will have no lag. Okay, so it's really cool. Uh, it's, it's just another way to give people another experience on Facebook. Um, you can use these as like um, in your ads for like the page posts and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I'm going to play around with it. I, I haven't actually run any instant experiences yet. I've just kind of been doing some research on it and uh, getting ready to hopefully uh, get some ads fired up here for my free course to try to get people into my ecosystem and build my list. Um, and that's what I've been working on today. So just wanted to show everyone the... Uh, the uh, instant experience. If you guys like what you saw today, uh, go ahead and leave me a like on this video. Make sure you share it with your friends if it's valuable. And uh, I will talk to you later on the Marketing Meathead.